They surround us. They make our world a happier and more beautiful place to live in. They nurture and nourish us. They are plants. Thriving in refreshing hues of green with bright and boldly colored flowers, a glance at these beauties is enough to make you feel good innately. Greetings, nature enthusiasts. Get ready to dive into the fascinating world of plants, where reality often surpasses even imagination. Plants, we grow them in our gardens, we eat them, we use them to brighten our homes and offices, and we respect and cherish them. That being said, there is more to them than meets the eye. In today's video, we uncover the most bizarre and fascinating plant facts that will amaze you. Let's delve in. Plants feel gravity. Plants know a lot more than we give them credit for. They can sense gravity and respond positively to it. Scientists call this response gravitational. It's similar to how we humans can sense gravity and know which way is up. Plant cells in their roots and stems have the ability to sense gravity in their bodies, thanks to specialized cells called steatocytes. These cells contain starch grains that accumulate at the bottom due to gravity acting as internal compasses. When a plant tilts, this starch grain shifts from side to side, stimulating hormones that tell the plant which way to go. Plants then grow toward gravity by elongating cells on one side and shortening cells on the other. Plants react to sound. Plants are not just inert things, they always react to their environment in an ambiguous way. Some of these reactions are more surprising than others, and scientists are trying to understand them. Recent research has found that plant roots actually respond to environmental noise. They tested the pea plant, Pisum sativum, and found that its roots can locate a water source by sensing vibrations generated by water flowing underground. There is also research to suggest that noise can increase plant yield. The yields of sweet pepper and tomato increased by 63.05% and 13.2%, respectively, when treated with acoustic frequency technology. Plants use tactics to attract pollinators. Like animals, plants are also capable of deception. In fact, some plants attract potential pollinators to visit flowers that don't produce nectar for their own benefit. They still receive pollen with the help of insects that visit each flower in search of nectar. Orchids are particularly cunning in this way. There are many species that visually mimic the flowers of a female wasp and release perfumes that attract male wasps. Males pollinate orchids when they try to mate with them. Another species called Rafflesia looks like a delicacy to flies, complete with just the right color and texture and even the smell of rotting flesh. Flies are attracted by the scent, land on the flowers, and are covered in pollen as they attempt to lay their eggs. The plant encourages them to pollinate. Clonal trees can live for more than 80,000 years. While the California bristlecone pine is a single organism, there are colonies of trees estimated to be more than 80,000 years old. One such colony of 50,000 aspen trees is located in Utah's Fish Lake National Park. It is called pando, which means, I spread. Those trees have really spread over the years. More than 100 billion bananas are consumed every year. Bananas are not always yellow, some are green and red, but this healthy breakfast and snack is one of the most consumed plants in the world. According to Science Kids, bananas grow in large hanging clusters called fingers, and a row is called an arm. Tulips were more valuable than gold. Recently introduced in Holland in the 1600s, tulips were so valuable that their bulbs were often worth more than gold. This period, known as tulip mania, was the first known speculative bubble in history and collapsed in 1637. Plants talked to each other. For a long time, people believed that plants were simple organisms that used rudimentary forms of intelligence to adapt to their environment. However, modern times have taught us that plants are more complex than we thought. For example, science tells us that plants talk to each other. They do this by secreting chemicals into the soil through their roots. These chemicals, known as root exudates, tell every other organism in the root zone about the plant's activity. Another study showed that the carbon absorbed by a 40-meter tall spruce tree can be shared by shorter trees such as beech, larch, and pine, as spruce roots extend into their root zones. Plants emit distress signals when stressed. The smell of freshly cut grass is actually a plant distress call. Many plants release odors or volatile chemicals when stressed, attracting insects and other animals to help escape a dangerous situation. For example, when caterpillars feed on a plant, it releases chemicals to attract parasitic wasps that lay eggs inside the caterpillars and kill them. 
Some plants can send a subtle warning to attract predators, such as birds, to protect them from damage. For a long time, this phenomenon was observed only in forests. However, in 2018, the University of Delaware observed this in agricultural plants as well. Plants know what time it is. You probably know that our body has a clock called the circadian rhythm that regulates our sleep and wake cycles. But did you know that plants also have such a clock? This means they can prepare for different times of the day. The plant uses sugar signals to establish the circadian phase when it is light or dark. Circadian rhythms determine when plants grow, when their flowers open, and when they emit scent. These rhythms help plants use their energy carefully so they don't starve at night. Strawberries are the only fruit that has seeds on the outside. There are over 600 varieties of strawberries, each containing about 200 seeds. The reason a strawberry has its seeds on the outside is because of the structure of the plant, which has a central receptacle surrounded by small, dry fruits. Most people don't know that strawberries are a member of the rose family and are not actually berries, even though they have berry in their name. Technically, it is a multi-fruit, consisting of small individual fruits embedded in its fleshy receptacle. Plants know their seasons, but they don't use a calendar. For plants that live in climates with extreme temperature changes, it is important to know when the seasons change. One of the ways that plants can tell the seasons is by the length of the day. Some plants' leaves are sensitive to the amount of light they receive, and they use this information to produce seeds or flowers at the appropriate time of year. For example, in the spring, when the days are longer, a plant will receive more sunlight. When it gets enough sunlight, its leaves begin to form flowers and seeds that reproduce for the next season. In addition to using the length of the day to tell the seasons, plants also sense temperature changes. Some plants live in climates with extreme temperature changes between summer and winter. For example, trees in Alaska have a long growing season in the summer but have to survive harsh winters lasting six months or more. Trees respond to this by growing very quickly in the short summer, then slowing their growth and dropping their leaves in the winter. Other plants react directly to temperature changes. Plants in cold regions only grow when temperatures rise above freezing during the day and fall below freezing at night. These facts remind us that the natural world is as diverse as it is amazing. If you enjoyed these incredible plant revelations, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video. Be curious, be amazed, and explore the fascinating world of plants.